Formula Ford is, is your basic starter uh, when you move from karts into circuit racing. Formula Ford's uh, the first step of the ladder on the way up to Formula One. It's been running 45 years. Many top drivers in the early parts of their career, if you look back at the history, and these, are, these have all gone on to be successful drivers, world champions, and multiple world champions. The reason I've chosen to drive for Sinter, they're like a big family. Um, I've known a lot of the guys here since I started racing and it's been their support from day one um, in my career when I stepped into cars that uh, has helped me to where I am now. Um, you know, we've shared the ups and downs together. Uh, we've been through thick and thin and you know, looking back now, I wouldn't change a thing. I can only be grateful to, uh, to Lindsay for all the support he's given me and literally from day one when I made the phone call to him asking for some second hand spares to run my horrible car that I, I bought and was trying to rebuild myself and he's, he's just supported me from that moment on. Um, knowing this and, and with that to look back on I'd, I'd never drive for anyone else. Um, if I was going to step onto the onto the uh, racetrack in Formula Four, then it's it's a no-brainer. I go with him. It was 2006. Um, I'd uh, I'd saved up all year and I'd managed to get a few small sponsors and, and funded for the Formula Four festival. I don't know if you can call it arrogance, but I went into it thinking uh, thinking in myself I could I could get up there on the pace. Um, unfortunately, after a bit of a, a shocking weekend, uh, crashed out in the final, and, and that was it again. Uh, another another chance taken, another year wasted. And it was after that I decided that, that it was uh, it was time to take a step back. Uh, obviously, with the time I'd committed to racing, uh, going too well, business-wise. One day I was sat in the rain in my car and a phone call came from abroad and um, asked me to, to go out to Bahrain. I think it was about a week later I was I set foot on the island and uh, at this point in time I've got a beautiful wife. Um, I've got a a 15 month old son and another baby on the way. Motorsport, you need money. It's not a sport where you can, uh, where you can have talent and, and make it to the top unless you've got funding. If you compare it to like football, up in a block of flats in the middle of London, but if you've got talent to kick a ball, you'll, uh, you'll find your way to the premiership. I see a lot of talent out there that just don't get an opportunity to, uh, to progress. And it's basically because it costs a lot of money. Um, Gone are the days now when the team used to pay the drivers just to rock up. It's, it's the other way around. You're paying the teams now. And the only way to get better at sport, obviously, is to practice. Uh, unfortunately, when you're trying to practice at motorsport, it involves hiring cars or buying cars, paying for tyres, and getting out onto the circuits. So it soon racks up, and even at the, the very lowest level, the bills are, are quite amazing. Um, so this weekend's come about of a new company that's come along called Racer Times, a new website. I suggested I was racing at, at Brands Hatch and just get the name out there, get people thinking about the name. I think I'm one of the first to sign up.
second from the back of the first race, second from the back of the second race, and the back of the grid from the third. That is the first time I've ever gone racing, and I'm at the back of the grid for excusing mechanical failure. No. I don't think he's too old. There's a guy here who's uh, almost 50 and he's still pushing the front of it. Um, it's if Gav gets the right sponsorships, the right money behind him and motivation, he's got the, the skill. You're born with skill, you can't buy skill. Um, I think he, he could do what he wanted to do here. He's done it once, he could do it again and maybe move up to Formula 3 if he gets the money. And it's all about money nowadays, not, not skill levels. Someone like Gav, who's actually moved forward, gone into Formula 4, done what he's done, you know, he's. Um, so much for talent. Um, this year it's been uh, it's funded by uh, my parents whilst, uh, whilst we're getting some results, getting a bit of a story to tell the sponsors for next season. And uh, so yeah, so at the minute just um, learning, trying to get results uh, to build the story on for next season to come to the sponsors. driving and I'm totally focused on the job in hand.
They've collided and they've hit one another. The two teammates have collided. Back on it. Is it doable for the next race? Um, probably about another hour or so. And the next race is in another, another hour? Or so. Another hour or so, yeah. What happened? Dude, just uh, fighting with my teammate, turned into a corner, and he nailed me in the apex. Knocked my back end off, so I've got no corner. That was it, race over for both of us. Yeah, I think you're great, mate. Really brilliant. The best I've ever seen. <laughs> this guy's all right. Who's that then? It's proper. It's Perry McCarthy. It used to be the Stig. Oh, well, the first Stig? Yeah. There's just so many variables um, that can happen over a race weekend. And, and that's the interesting thing. We're trying to control something we have absolutely no control of. The level of dedication um, to be successful is, is... A lot of people think it's just a driver, but the mechanics, the team owners, all totally committed to the sport and and to excel, they have to have that commitment. I'm made in England, I call it my kingdom. She may let me down, she will never take a bow for me. Soul down the river, you scream till they hear ya. And I'm still standing proud, even as every town has fallen down to its knees. doing 130, 140 mile an hour, wheel to wheel, but it's peaceful. Um, you're just concentrating so far in front that even the, the speed isn't apparent. It's, you know, when you're really on it, when you're in a pack of cars and you're fighting for the position.
So that's a brand new GP track. It's a proper sort of 